think. If people weren't sure if you could do comedy, then all they needed to do was see you on extras. Yeah. Which is um, one of the most unbelievable moments. I get, I get extras almost as much as I get Harry Potter. I get, I get, I, because extras is what, it's generally men, and it's generally men between 15 and 25, yeah. and who don't really want to, like, come up and gush about Potter, but they do want to say hello. Yeah. And so, <laughs> like, so the way in has become, like, hey, man, loved you on extras. That was great. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, thank you. Um, and, but it's, um, but I, I, you know, I, 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 loved, I loved doing extras. That was, it was seven it was like seven or eight years ago now. It was a lot. It was. It's, it seems doesn't seem that long, but it, it was actually quite a while ago. It's it's incredible. How I mean, you're really young now, but how young you were in that. Yeah. Did you know Ricky? Did Ricky just? I was telling Ricky the story Gervais? the other day. Actually, I um I, it's one of the weirdest. It's it's the weirdest way I've ever got a job, without a doubt. Um, it's the first job I've ever said yes to without reading a script, um, because it was Ricky Gervais. And I had been I was in Australia making December Boys, and we had been watching the first series of Extras, and then. One of the uh, the local PAs, uh, Caroline, would, took us to her friend's house, and they had kangaroos and snakes. And kangaroos are uh, you can't just have a kangaroo as a pet in Australia. They have to they have to be. It's, I think I think I'm right in saying it's very specific. They have to be found like abandoned in their mother's pouch at the roadside, right? And then you can raise them. Right. And, Reasonable. And then and then um, and the same way about beavers here. It's very right. similar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And I'm laughing like I get it. And, um, and, and then, um, uh, sorry. Um, but so I was like, I spent the most of the evening watching a snake crawl around a table and bottle feeding a kangaroo. And, and then the phone rang and it was Ricky Gervais saying, I'd like you to be on extras. And that was how I got that job. And I said yes. And I was like, I mean, that was, it was, it was, that my, my dad literally, I was in the other room bottle feeding kangaroo and my dad ran through with the phone going, um, it, it, it's Ricky Gervais. <laughs> um, like, and can you, can you talk to him? And I was like, what, uh, yeah. Um, you know, it was, um, it was, it was a very, very strange moment. And, and, you know, I was such a fan of his at that point. I mean, I must have watched the English office in, in its entirety, three times at least by that point, and just thought he was a, a genius and um, really was very, very excited to work with him. And it's, I have to say, what was interesting about working with him was you, you to really see how Ricky is obviously a, a, an incredibly funny guy and, and really smart and all of that, but how um, much Steve Merchant is actually like, it's a, it's a completely equal partnership. Did the Potter production people, were they okay with that character? What you did on Extras? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they never really, they never really kicked up a fuss about anything. I mean, I'm sure there were a few people who were slightly, when Equus was announced, was you know a little bit taken aback. But generally speaking, you know, there wasn't, um, there wasn't a morality clause in the contract in terms of what I could go off and do. So I, 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 I don't think we ever really worried about it too much. Well, I mean, I mean yeah. I your father running in with, when you're feeding a kangaroo, it, it, you were, he ran in to tell you you got Potter when you were taking a bath yeah. when you were a kid, right? Yeah, sort of yeah the story did. of your career. It's the story of my life is my dad running in and giving me great news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 